guess what we're watching today? We are watching Hershey's Chocolate Kisses, episode 38. We are moving along, thankfully, because um, technology has been on our Let me say that. Let me whisper that so that <laughs> I don't jinx myself. We've been good. We, we've, been, we've been doing good. I'm not even going to say what, I'm gonna, what I was going to say. I don't want to jinx myself. We're watching episode 38. Um, welcome to another edition of Author E. Jamie Watches, a somewhat weekly show where I react to television shows and or movies and hopefully entertain y'all. So last episode, we had a little glimpse, a little teeny tiny glimpse of the old Ray Ann when um, Creepy Grandma showed up with some a uh, piece of paper that supposedly told Rayanne who her real father was. And I was very proud the fact that she, uh, without reading it, she ripped it up in Creepy Grandma's face and threw it at her and said that she knew that who her real father was and that was Papa Qualler Bear. I'm guessing that like some sane writer actually managed to sneak that little tidbit in because the rest of the episode was a pure continued cluster of what episode 36 was. So I hear that I think it's either this episode or the next episode that is the season finale and that it's going to feel a little uh, disjointed or, or um, rushed because they were trying to get it done before uh, they closed down because of COVID. Uh, so we'll sort of see what happens there. But uh, people have assured me that there is a turnaround and Rayanne does get back to normal. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that very, very much. Please, can I have, can the, ri can the real Rayanne please stand up? Because I miss her. I miss her curly, angsty, but for the most part, sane and rational self. Um, so that was, uh, that was nice to see that little glimpse of her in the midst of the uh, fricosity that is still going on. Um, Trot Waffle and Honey and Crazy are now living at the Shagalaga Mansion. Um, so that should be interesting. Um, I'm still wondering where, um, where, uh, Percy Lemon Drops doll is because last we saw when, uh, Creepy Grandma sort of temporarily kidnapped her, Creepy Grandma had the doll. And when, when her slim drop was given back to her family, her slim drop did not have the doll. So where's the doll? Um, Grandma Dilly is still pissing me off with her acting like uh, Rayanne is this wounded angel who was so hard done by and her refusal to uh, forgive her son her grandson, excuse me. Um, and I hated that Miran was there like begging, pretty much begging his grandmother to forgive him. And she was acting like, like she wasn't, she was not uh, sort of responding to his forgiveness. She, she would act like she's all be like, all teary eyed. Like, oh, like she wanted to forgive him, but she wouldn't forgive him. She couldn't forgive him for the horrible thing that he had done, which, let me make it clear, I understand her being mad at, at Moran, and I understand her being disappointed in him, but this is the grandson who she had lived her entire life without, who is the son of the daughter that died who she, she had to watch 
being taken away and who Grandma Dilly was not able to get Moran back from Creepy Grandma. So she had to live knowing that he was being raised by this psychotic woman and, oh, surprise, surprise, uh, being raised by a, by a psychotic woman doesn't turn you into a well-adjusted, normal, moral man. It skews your brain a little bit. So instead of understanding that, instead of understanding that Moran had been brainwashed by his grandmother to do these horrible things, no, she's all like, you're not my grandson, and I can't believe that like you would do this, and like what would your mother think, and blah, 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 and like, I was just horrified, horrified with Grandma Dilly's uh, behavior. So, uh, it's going to take me a long time to forgive her. It's going to take me a long time to forgive uh, Rayanne. But it was nice to see that little glimpse of normal Rayanne for like a split second. So I have hope. And people have told me that she's going to get back to normal. Um, so hopefully my assumption is that they've thrown the writers of that episode off a bridge and, and brought in the regular writers again. Or brought in new writers who actually know the characters because that that would be nice to see again so let's get into the episode shall we this is Hershey's chocolate kisses episode 38 here we go what the fuck I'm so angry right now. I I can't can't believe they ruined them. I can't believe that somebody wrote that script and thought that it was good. Thought that it was good enough to be filmed. Thought that this was a good direction for the story to go. Whoever you are who pitched that storyline idea, I am wishing the most evilest things upon you. I... I'm so angry. I have... have no words. I have no words for how pissed off I am right now. It's, yes, I'm sad, but I'm more angry that this is the route that they chose to go with what could have been a beautiful love story. A beautiful secondary love story to go along with the major love story of Moran and Rayanne. They could have had this beautiful love story between these Super Duty Skittles. 
develop over time as he came to realize that Rayanne was not the woman who was meant for him. I hate everything right now. I hate everything. And the fact that they ruined them and gave us this piss ass reunion with Rayanne and her father and Rayanne and Moran which was so shitty ass weak with them again just doing and saying whatever they had to do to make Rayanne happy. No. Just no. Rayanne is the one who should have gone to Papa Carla Bear and begged him for her forgiveness, for, for his forgiveness. Rayanne is the one who should have, when she regained consciousness from being, being falling off the horse, should have said to Moran, I'm sorry, I should have never blamed you for what my father did. But no. It was all Moran being there, you know, holding her and doing whatever he had to to make her happy. And Papa Koala Bear, you know, being there crying and saying all these things about how much he loved her and how much all he wanted was to make her happy. And her hearing that enough to be like, okay, I, I understand. You're my real father. I should have, you know, she didn't even say I should have never, you know, turned against you and blah, blah, blah. She didn't say that. No, no, no. I know you're my real father. And I don't care about my other father because, you know, he doesn't matter to me. Only you matter to me. Because, yeah, you say whatever you have to to make me happy. I want to say that I'm done. I want to say that I'm done with this show. That I don't want to watch it anymore. But I want to continue to do these reactions for you guys. I'm just worried that the next 30 episodes are going to be a hate watch for me. They ruined my Skittles. They ruined her. Yes, she had issues. But a good fucking writer would have given her time and given her help, the help that she obviously needed to develop as a character and as a woman who was strong enough to fight for her marriage. But no, this fucking writer decided it was easier to just kill her off. For what? What are you gonna do with Newspaper Dude now? What is gonna happen with Newspaper Dude's character now? Is he gonna just fall back into chasing after Rayanne? Because I swear to fucking God, if that's what happens, I'm so angry 
every time I think that I can't be more angry at this show in the last couple of episodes, you make me more angry. The one good moment, one, was Papa Koala Bear slapping the shit out of Twat Waffle. That was the one positive thing about this episode. Even Moran giving up his revenge wasn't a good moment for me. They ruined that moment because they made it about him making Rayanne happy so that she wouldn't be mad at him anymore. Instead of Moran actually making the decision on his own to give up his revenge for himself. Not for Rayan, for himself. They ruined that. These fucking incompetent writers. Who, who are these people who took over the writing between after episode 35? Because there is no way in hell that it's the same people. And if you tell me it's the same people, I have no choice but to uh, conclude that they might have must have taken some kind of drugs or were like hit on the head or were drunk when they wrote these episodes after episode 35. I can't believe they just had her commit suicide. I, I want to say that I'm done. I want to say that they've absolutely ruined the show for me now. But I don't want to stop doing these reactions for you guys because I know how much you guys enjoy them. I hate this. I hate this. And unless something changes, I'm warning you guys now, you need to be okay with this from now on being a hate watch for me. And what, what I mean by that is I'm going to continue to do the reactions, but unless something changes, it will be me bitching about the whole show throughout the episode. So if you're okay with that, I will continue to do these reactions. If you think that I shouldn't have felt the way that I felt in this episode, then I would suggest don't watch any more of my reactions. Because I, I, I don't see how this will be an enjoyable reaction experience for you <laughs> the way that I'm feeling about the show right now. I'm torn between my rage and my sadness for Skittles. I loved that character. I loved that character so much. I can't believe what they just did to her. And if you're going to tell me that it was like an actress thing, like she wanted to go do something else or she had to leave or whatever, recast it. Recast the role. They did it once before. The first Skittles was not the first Skittles. You could have recasted her. You didn't have to do this to her. I can't No, just no. So, yeah, I, I warn you guys now, unless something changes, these episodes going forward will be hate watch reactions. If you're not okay with that, I, I understand if you want to subscribe. I understand. But, I hope you stick around, 
because I hope that my reaction changes, that my, as I watch the show, that it changes and gets better. Because these past three episodes, oh my god, I have never been so disappointed and so angry. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna end the episode. <laughs> I'm gonna end this now before I go on with my rage. <sighs> For Skittles. You deserved fucking better. You fucking deserved better than what they just did to you. <sighs> Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash author EJ. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash author EJ. And I will talk to you guys next time. I don't even have a closing comment to make. I'm just pissed. That's it. I'm just, I'm just pissed and sad and pissed. Bye.